Is that true? I don't... I don't... I don't know. I, I feel like I should type that into Google, but I'm afraid we'll... By all means, tell us about the extra calf bone well, in the thigh. Well, see... Uh, or in the... or whatever. The for, extra bone in the for thigh the, that comes up. For the rhythmic gymnastics, mm -hmm. uh, she is extra, extra, like, proficient because she has the extra calcitonin levels Due to her dad. It's it's almost like cheating, really. And three quarters of her mom. No wonder they can make natural athletes. Yeah. You know, back in the day... Yeah? They used to breed... Wait, you know, back in the day of this? Or back in the day of now? Uh, Jimmy the Greek, look him up. Because back in the day of now... Jimmy is, the Greek. Yeah. He had to go. See, she's naturally gifted in all sorts of ways. All right. I want to learn, hear more about that shit. No, nope, that's all Koji's got. Oh, man. It's the coolest sport around. Because what you have to picture is reading the line with Kojima sitting there speaking it to you with his glasses. And just, and or, or <laughs> his his hand and on his chin going, mm, 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 yes. Mm, so it is, man. Yes. Burak people. Um, the coolest sport around. Uh, Very calcium. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, da, 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 da. Calcium loss this year. Try to sew kids. It isn't good for kids who are still growing. And Jonathan's like, don't you worry. People love that shit. Just fucking eat your Flintstone kids, alright? Drink your milk. <laughs> you know how it is. Even better than mud wrestling. I never got the appeal of mud wrestling. Uh, it's because the mud is kind of almost blush toned, but and not exactly. If you go play, um, what's the game? Was it, it, I forget whether it was DOA or Rumble Roses that has the mud wrestling Probably mode. Probably both. But it was just like, you know, oh look, it's almost flesh colored, so it looks like they're naked by the end because they're yeah. all crazy. And also it's filthy, dirty, dirty sport. You know, so. Sounds way worse when you do that British accent. Yeah. Territory, some say, is reserved for God. I don't know, I think living in space would probably be above all that shit. <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the, uh, like, human equivalent of existing outside the PUBG danger zone yeah. and just patching yourself up with bandages to survive. Artificial fertilization circuit, Rush relationship between comas? Persistent vegetative states. Okay. An organ transplant. That's a real field. I don't think it's called bioethics. She knows her shit, though. Ethics and medicine. Basically, the the science of people dying in space. Yes. Slowly. And what you're allowed to do with their genetic material. Hmm. And the answer apparently is anything you want. <laughs> Again, something, something, gene seed. Mm -hmm. All right. What about you, kiddo? Let's you try. Got anything to say? Let's try. Yeah, lost all the innocence in childhood. Mark, なかなか絵が上手だね。地球に来たら一緒にスケッチしようか。おじさんも絵を描くんだ。今度見せてあげようか。See the trick. Mark, I watched a special on uh, trying to help out. Kikoki, Kiki, Koki, Koki, Mori. You tried. Did I? Yeah. Tobacco. If I can't get it right, then I'm, I'm gonna get it wrong. Yeah. Um, and so the trick is to, like, make non-committal statements that don't necessarily require acknowledgement. Yeah. But just put the idea out there. Yeah, just put it out there, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, look. The kid likes you because you're a fucking dinosaur. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out which is the most dinosaur-ish out, like, part of him. Is it his behavior, his look, or the cigarette? And I think it might actually be the cigarette. I mean, also... Because it's so absurd. It is. But, ro like, rocking the badge around your chest like that when you're just hanging out for dinner is a bit of a weirdo thing to do, too. Oh, yeah, you're super right. What's up with that? You need these kids to know who you are? We get it. We get it, Ingrid. Hey, uh... Hey, Ed's daughter, whatever your name is. I'm a cop. 
just like your dad. Isn't that cool? Aren't you impressed? What's your fucking... Oh, who cares? <sighs> okay, so we have no leads, and we have no evidence. The whole thing stinks, though. Pharmaceutical. We made a lot of progress on our first day. Oh, you mean that meeting of the villains strikes you as odd? I saw a lot of people in the comments that were super right, by the way, that it's like a businessman telling a cop, hey, sometimes you have to make deals with crime syndicates. It's like grounds for arrest on the spot. <laughs> That's pretty true. Like, that was so ridiculous. Uh, we need sufficient evidence to open up official, because we're just dicking around, really. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta let the little crimes go so that the bigger fish crimes can get away. Yeah. <laughs> because you're it's in over lot, your head. It's a lot easier to let the big crimes go when you let all the little ones go, too, because you just gotta sit back and you let the, the crimes happen. Uh, and Ed's just like, I'm old, man. My fishing rod don't work no more. Just never forget Lorraine's guts all over your face. That seems like a dramatic retelling. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm with him. I super believe that Ocho's dead and in a closet somewhere. It's just it's a prompt we're waiting for, absolutely. Yeah. Um Okay. I followed Lorraine all the way back. And we know where he is too. He's right over there. But why? What's so special about the capsules? Yeah. Her. She's also a prominent newscaster. Super famous public person face. Yeah. It's like, if you want to keep a cover-up going, the last thing you do is kill a bunch of famous people. Mm -hmm. Goes way beyond the pharmaceutical company. Probably has something to do with the real... The, the big man that kicked us out of his fucking creepy sex party. Yeah, they're trying to protect their prostaclone business. You know it. Uh. All right. Great. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. All right. Let's. Uh. I think you got to talk to Ed more about some specific bullshit. Like. Yeah. You gotta ask about the capsules or the, the fucking ocean. How to proceed. There it is. We're gonna sleep here tonight. Yeah, it's like, why don't you actually eat something? Oh, I didn't notice, but over time, the, the food stopped steaming. Oh, right. We talked a whole bunch, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Which sure I didn't- I ignored the prompt. Alright, I'm gonna have some of these tempuras. Yeah, eat that shit. Nanako. Oh, it's totally Nanako again. What is this bullshit? I waited too long. Now the food tastes terrible. What's in front of her? Salad? It's yeah. bullshit. She literally just said video for you mm. and then clarified that the video was voice only. Deep throat. Straight up deep throat. That's correct, sir. Uh, 
わかった AMM だないい話が聞けるぜ AMM の This is either Are you gonna try to kill me? A source or a big kill? Nine stars. Jenna, poison nuts. I really hope you try to kill me. So that I can fuck you up and be like, where's the money? Yeah. Back to a nice family! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. We got a lead. Oh, that's why it's called that. I was wondering why we were gonna downgrade from police knots to astronauts. I mean, everyone else who's, you know, not wearing a badge and gun in space. You ate like a single thing, you fuck. It must be pretty easy, actually. You just have to shoot somebody anywhere around the glass. And as long as you crack it, you're good. I feel like that's a really short-sighted move. <sighs> no, he's not. No. Could be, um, could be a dude from, from the hospital. Could be. お前が作るより<laughs> <laughs> Life's hard without a new wife yelling at me all day. Oh man. They just have the old fucking sticking out of the ground like fucking trees. Sure, that's what they look like. その方が安全だと思ったんだろう。信用して大丈夫だろうか。ここで試案してもどうにもならん。さあ、そろそろやっていく。This is a weird fucking building. A rocket graveyard is really odd. I don't. It makes me feel a bit weird. このロケットも宇宙開発に貢献したロケットを作った。Well, I recognize the one that you clicked on. It's it's the one that I'm most familiar with. Yeah, or you got the, the the shuttle. Yeah, the boosters. The bottom is like. Fucking falls off, and then the, the plane part flies into space. It's cool. Yeah. Hey! <laughs> That's where. Oh man. Yeah. That's where yeah. the. Yeah. The, the battle of Enrico Pucci took place. Just and then he, before he went back to his home planet. I just, I want, like, I want to see them refer to that as an event, and they just, yeah, we got past that anyway. Yeah, it was a little weird there for about a million years, but uh, we got we got through it. Why are why do you care that much about Japanese I was anything? So you I was, American cop. I was just thinking, <laughs> like Kojima has he has the weirdest thing that comes out in in his games, which is this like absurd like. He's clearly very proud of his country, right? Of course, of course. But, like, it's weird because all of his characters are also proud of his country. Did you know this guy was the first Japanese man to use chopstick in st chopsticks in space? Sure, Colonel Campbell. The American says to the other American. The space zoid says to the... Ed says to Jonathan. All right. Oh, yeah, okay. I was like... It was weirded out because... It doesn't look like a Beyond thing. And it's got a big American flag on it, so it's clearly modeled after an existing place. Yeah, yeah, Jolene was swinging right over on that thing from there to there. Yep. And then, uh, Sea Moon was like, nah. Nah. Let's get in there. We're heading over to the Pioneer. It's not a field trip, Jonathan. God damn it. I should have clicked on the water. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jonathan, go down. There's a hot chick there. Cop. Nope, college student. Cool. Astronaut Glenn's mission. I find it really bizarre that they call it home. Gets to me. 
it, it, it creates the sci-fi world that they, when they keep using it. Uh, Maybe he's waiting for somebody. Oh, it's a date spot. Okay. Okay. Could she be the informant? Oh, it's a guide. So that's what, uh, what Anna does. Yeah. Uh, You're worried about her being a guide at a fucking museum? Dude. What about Sketchy McSketch hanging out behind this thing? Middle no. school. Yeah. Hey, you, you need to be near the Pioneer, right? So, is that thing on the right the Pioneer? I mean, it could be, but what about this person over here? Oh. Probably not. Kid. Mm. All these kids. Well, it's a museum. Kids are big nerds. Yeah. Mm. Emotional place for terrestrials. I imagine it would be, right? Because, like, if you're living in space, the fucking space exploration museum from your youth would be, like, miraculous, almost. Yeah, for sure. I want to go to space. Cool. And this is the Friendship 7. Oh. How adorable. This is ISS the type. Oh, no, that's... Oh, it's a miniature. There it is, there it is. Mm -hmm. How could you? Yeah. 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 Oh, I, st I still- I just realized the- the massive concern that owns all of space is of course a Japanese Zaibatsu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The almighty Yen! Japan will dominate the space economy! Hell yeah! Go, Koizumi, go! You just ripped it out of the earth? この中にはホームの耐久の we get the breakdown for what Celis is as an acronym? I don't remember honestly. I'm going to imagine it's some form of environmental control. No, 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 no. I got this. I got this. Uh, let's look at front desk over here. Maybe some boing oings. No, not Selexa, you fuck. Moon Corner. Cool. Can we see that fake flag that they filmed on a Hollywood set? Yeah. Closed Ecological Life Support System. Thanks, Slow Beef. Cheers. You type in anything to do with police knots, yeah. you get like 10 Slow Beef results. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is back when America was still a superpower. It's obviously not now because Japan just owns the space. Mm hmm And then we got Martin Scorsese to film the whole thing. It's crazy, dog. Yeah, but you're jumping through a, a light, like, semi-weightless environment, like... It doesn't weigh nothing. You're fine. Oh yeah. Friendly little robot. Not that an alien race would see that as friendly. Because it kind of looks like an enemy you want to shoot Well, no, from. it looks like kind of an enemy to shoot fr from your perspective, but maybe that looks exactly like an alien. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I guess I'm just thinking in fiction terms, in fiction yeah. world. Toss you to 14 kilometers. It's wow. It's practically a warthog. The Genesis rock? The fuck is that? The first rock. Oh. Yeah. Moon rocks. Oh man, I remember... I remember reading up on moon rocks, and people brought it back and they were like... Their shit was getting blown, like, holy crap, dude. 
This is gonna be this... the craziest shit ever. We could discover new elements in this. Oh no, it's a fucking rock. It's just a rock. <laughs> it's like it's got some calcium in it. Kind of like a shitty version of sandstone or whatever the fuck. It's like this one's the Scooby Doo rock. That's the Snagglepuss. Boys, they're they're fucking rocks. Uh, okay. All space right. shit. Cool. How about the corner for space? You clearly have to look at all these exhibits. Appreciate space, Hideo says. The Viking launcher. Viking program, Viking one lander replica. Oh, did the Mars rover die? Um, I think it died. Yeah, isn't that isn't that what it's it was meant to do? Yeah, but I think it like was like good night everyone and then died. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was what they intended. That oh, we gotta go recover that thing. Why? Because it's emotional. But it sent its pictures. He did his mission. <sighs> I don't know, man. He did his thing. I got a little emotionally invested in that Mars rover. It's not Wall E. It's a fucking rover. It was a good. It was a good robot. <laughs> Why don't, why don't you go retrieve, um... Uh, 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 fucking, what's it called? The one that, like, went beyond, uh, our, our, our solar system. Oh, what the fuck is um, that one? I forget the name of it. Voyager? No. Maybe? No. I if forget. You, if you say the name, I'll remember, but, but there's yeah. one that's way the and fuck out And he's taking there. those pictures, and he's, he's gone! It's in the Oort cloud he's now. He's fucking out there. Go, go save him. Nah. Nah, he, he's, he's going on his journey. He's got the golden disc! Right. Oh, the golden disc is the coolest thing about space! You obviously know about the golden disc. Of course, disc. and anyone that finds it's gonna see some cool shit. So, to those of you who don't know, on all spacecraft that are supposed to be going way the fuck out there, they have golden uh, records mm -hmm. with the shape, with the, what, I believe it's the Vesuvius Man. Uh, and uh, diagrams of our bodies, and, like, subsets of our language, and all sorts of crazy shit inscribed on them, super small, as, Vitruvian like, a kind man. of, hello. Vitruvian, man. Is, is Vitruvian, not yes. Vesuvian? Okay. But, uh, yeah, and, and, and... Like, hey, aliens! Yeah, check it out, it's us. And then, that's where, um, the, uh, the Predacons find it. <laughs> and yeah. then... That leads to the entirety of the Beast Wars Season 4, so don't worry about it. And the thing about- and the reason why it's made out of gold is because gold is non-reactive. It'll last functionally infinitely, and here it's Pioneer. This is the disc. This is a replica of the fucking thing I was just talking about. It's got two hydrogen atoms. It's friendship. They also put all sorts of crazy shit, like, uh, like the hundred best songs that we ever made. Right, all sorts right, of crazy right. shit out there. I mean, like, everything that... <laughs> everything that represents humanity. And the idea isn't even necessarily that aliens will find it. It's that, like, if we blow ourselves the fuck up, at least something is guaranteed to remain for some time. So, like, your people can interpret this as the location of where we are. Yeah. That's, uh... And those are two hydrogen atoms. Mm-hmm. It's, it's pretty cool, but what if the people that find it are like... Yo, what are these fucking shapes about? I don't know. Well, that's... that's the... I should really go watch that fucking movie. Contact? No, the other movie. The one that I tried to call Contact, but it's wrong. You went and saw it. It's about aliens. Oh, oh, um... Talking to aliens? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, God. The easiest way to talk to aliens is to show them a bunch of math. Right. Because uh, math is da, da, universal. Da, da, da. Arrival. Arrival. Hey! Hey! There are nine planets in the solar system, stupid fi- Oh, uh, Pluto got back shit. in! shit! Pluto got back in! They didn't know. How could they have known that that fuck boy was trying to be a planet, but Neil, he wasn't? Neil, Neil, why'd you have to kill our planet? <laughs> uh, God, people damn got it. emotional about that one. Oh yeah, they sure did. All right, what about the Beyond Corner? Hey, that are you serious? Crazy. Are you fucking? They're that level? Yeah, dude. 
このビヨンドコーナーではクリスノースであった俺たちはヒーローってわけだこの若さで歴史上の人物とはジョナサン、go make out with your wax figure そう言うな Well, I'm glad your job celebrates you and your heroic deeds by dumping you in a goddamn basement. Jesus. And these things. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that cool little robot. Look at that little Harrow down there. Let's、I、check out the Harrow. I can't believe you remember Harrow. Harrow, Harrow. Harrow sucks. You can't forget Harrow. Harrow's the best. You haven't seen a harrow tricked out with fucking guns and beam sabers, alright? Does that even happen? You need to see you need to see some advanced harrow designs. Okay, then. Survival ball. That's so. Harrow doesn't go anywhere.、Yeah. Harrow shows up in future series. Yeah. So, it's the little touchstone. Harrow shows up in Gundam. Because I was really confused when. Like, because Amuro had a Harrow, and that's fine. And then they're on the ship with Camille, and there's just a fucking Harrow walking around. And Amuro was like, Is that my Harrow? No. No, it's not, Amuro. It's like a fucking billion sold toy. Like, it's his little pet, alright? It's his cute little pet. Just slap Camille around a little bit. Really? If I laid in my bed for three days without moving, my muscles would start to atrophy? Yeah, the bears would make great astronauts.、Mm. Yeah, there was that experiment where they paid a guy to stay in a, in a bed for, I think it was a month? While they fed him hyper calculated、uh, things. They're trying to do. They're, I think NASA's hiring people for the six month version of that experiment. Wow, yeah.、Okay. And yeah. they're like, we'll pay you all this money. And everyone's like, oh, that sounds great. It's like, no, it doesn't. Yeah. No, no it doesn't. You, can't, you, you do not have the fortitude to lie down all day. It's like, you, you're, not, you're not actually thinking about what kind of risk you're, you're going to encounter. Also, like, oh, man. Just the ability to not be allowed to get up. Yeah. Or whatever. Like. No, like, the guy was kind of freaking out towards the end of it, but he, he managed to do it. It was pretty impressive. Uh. Wow! They have, like, everything. But you know what's actually worse than the. They got your ball hairs, man. You know what's worse than the fucking, uh. The, the atrophy? Mm hmm. In space? Mm hmm. It's the isolation. Oh, space madness. Yeah, space madness is real. Oh, yeah. Well, that's. Hope you're not claustrophobic. I'm actually claustrophilic, so that's fine. I like enclosed spaces, I find them very comforting. But if you ever have a freak out moment of suddenly needing to not be in a closed space. Yeah. Irrationally so. I have, I, have the, I have the opposite problem. I don't particularly like infinite wide open chasms.、Mm. So inside the spaceship, I'd be fine and dandy. Outside the spaceship? Yeah. But you'd have to go out there at some point. Yeah, there, there must be some form of super agoraphobia that astronauts can get because, you know, agoraphobics hate wide open spaces, right? But any wide open space on the Earth still has edges. <laughs> Whereas, if you fall into the space, it's infinity in every direction. Indeed. Oh, don't like it. And there's stars to, to kind of like help you judge just how infinite the infinite is. Well, there's zero noticeable parallax on anything. Exactly. So you go, <laughs> your brain goes, no, 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 that's forever. Your brain understands distance and can judge things and goes, that is infinity in front of you right there. Enjoy it. You're just gonna fall until you die.、Uh, so they're basically like gonna fucking make toys and sculptures and TV shows and animatronics and all kinds of bullshit、oh, out of it. Oh man,、that. I wanna go to the Police Knots animatronic pizzeria. <laughs> <laughs> well, whoa! Oh, John. Whoa! I don't smile like that. <laughs> I hate this. <laughs> wow. All right. 1990. Six? Yep,、yeah, alright. Remember, our character is a mix between the Mel Gibson and the Riggs. Yeah. It's thematically appropriate. Yep.、Yeah. 
Also, back then- I er thought you just said that you hated the way they made you look. What a bitch. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, no.